Russia breaking international law, turmoil in North Africa and the Middle East, the refugee and migration crisis, international terrorism, hybrid warfare, and cyber attacks. These are pressing challenges requiring unity and resolve and a strong transatlantic bond. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. NATO is united. We stand together as one. And an attack on one ally will be considered an attack against us all. If you look at USRA and what they're doing, uh, they're integral. If you look at just the exercise and the training that they've been doing, the change in tasks, the complexity of those tasks, the distances of the moves they've made in some of the exercises uh, in the Baltics, uh, Romania and Bulgaria, those are all good examples of one, a change in mindset, a change in the tasks that we have to do, and in the change in the way that we go about our training and readiness. Prepare for combat means fighting like it's combat. And this kind of uh, training and these challenges and the stress that we placed on the soldiers here, this is as hard as we can make it. You know, our guys haven't slept well, they haven't eaten well, they've been out in 100 degree temperatures, and then they come out and they've performed every single day. Uh, be it a U.S. flag or uh, any, any ally partner, uh, we're going to be overhead providing attack helicopters, cargo, utility lift, medevac, and our job is to be there and train right along with them. The National Guard and U.S. Army Reserves are essential for U.S. Army Europe. They train in Europe with our NATO allies and other partners. They build readiness, deter aggression, and improve interoperability. The participation of U.S. Army Reserve soldiers and National Guard soldiers in our exercises is absolutely critical because that's how we fight. It's all about the total Army, and there are unique capabilities that are essential to U.S. Army Europe being successful in the performance of its mission. We have to work with our allies every day. The year of integration is the year where we really want to exploit this to make a huge step forward in the cooperation and integration with our NATO allies. All right, go, 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 hit the house. We gotta hit the house now. We'll start moving uh, into four other countries where we'll begin uh, either our training to sustain our readiness or training with our allied partners. I think we're going to experience more training and that ability to, to really show our allies that we're here because it, cre it creates alliance. It's reassuring that, hey, we got their backs, they have our backs. We are integrated, and we are integrated in every exercise that we participate in, and this live fire exercise is no different. It is critically important that our junior leaders be able to work with their allies and our partners to practice their trade, to excel beyond what they consider to be their capabilities because we challenge them at every turn to be leaders. In every exercise we do, we want to make sure that we're doing all we can to bring in the joint and multinational team to build as much readiness as possible, to leave no doubt that this alliance is, is, is prepared to deter any potential adversary. You know, I'm only a private and I get to do a lot of stuff that, you know, some people who are more high ranking than me have never done before.